and some of them were not prepared, they were not ready. So don't shy away from talking about this with your family, to your loved one, especially those who still have children. Please talk about it. Plan. Prepare. If it's your time today, how have you left your loved ones? How have you left your family? Um, it's good to do in our communities. Chira go wase Uganda. Chira gatu. We we embrace our cultures. Nero kudela gatu na mono mukavi. Eni ine so dera po. Tuchite giza you don't plan and prepare for your own packages. Because when I get up, tuchi mani mono tu nyoti na mutu wa filo na mutu kila. So many ways. Nadela vaina abar. Go back for mono mukavi that's well and good. But leave something aside for your children. Let them. Let them not cry for your, the loss of you, the loved one, and financially distracted. Chukulu nyowa nangi. This is what I can say. I always say this is something I love. I would love to see my community 90% covered. So that when the inevitable strikes, we are set to go. Because we will go. You like it or not, we will go. It will be me tomorrow. But I can guarantee you, they just celebrate me. It's such a beautiful thing. We just have to appreciate that life lived at one point has to be celebrated. But how are you going to celebrate your life when there's no financial stability? She made a traveling job. She took to get a call. Who is that? No. My dad, I have a child. I have a child. Like myself. Don't shy away from talking about it. Give them confidence to plan and prepare for you because you will never know when the inevitable is going to strike. But now it's your place. Whether you're in the job or you're in the job, tomorrow is not promised for anyone. We have a lot of places. We have a lot of places in the community. We have a lot of people in the community. We have a lot of people in the community. We have a lot of people in the community as families. Kama ava wumisa, and I got the number ya the one sent to me now. Na tu ina buli plate. I went to the so so we don't put our to get up at the number so far. Thank you. By the way, the Londoner, Lord Morgan, he has so much debt he can't in the last ten to twenty years. Oku gata ava tu ava ba, muma ambuka as North London. Mo South London, Mo East London, Central and the West London. In good day or Kurama, Avantu or Nanga Valley Unified, and Mabiga won such a job. He was indeed a legend. Oh, Mufa Tata Jai, the Vietnam is a good woman, and Tambu Mundi, and Tate example, Ate, Mususa Tabate, trendsetter, undisputed. Trend yes. Sticking together is good. Na yenga we bagambi mukanisa yali musa dianga tamani intaro. Ori domu tumbla la ikabwe mani. Aina ko karakter mwe fana niza yepa ulugubai tini yani amoto kawa iwa pobima. Kali mwe bali nyoku mpuliriza Tuafiri duwa nyo Thank you Thank you, thank you Katano katifuni mwana wafi ayogene kubwa family Banyamu nema sebo Nisaba mwe kumatunga mwe Thank you. 
Moko, Sibula, Uncle Wange, Uncle Morgan, and number Nene Dala, Chituzama, Mani, Kubatuli Banafu, Nyomu Mitima, Njagalo, Kubeba Zamwina, Yonavium to call it day, Kubanga singer, Simwe, Omkolo, Notabari, so to say, Twagala, Okeba Mwami in Kampala, Paul Kalunji, Yemwami, a poking out costs the repatriation of Sobolokwala and Pomogan, a Uganda. Mwami, you to Mueva Zanyo, and that Mueva is a Dalla. Jagaloku Mueva Zamwina, Ababa Deva Jamulumbe, of Tugumia. To a company or to Kavira Po, or Sekana Fe, when not to ever Zanyo, Jagalo Kuba Zom Kwano, Wemula Ze, Family Ange. It is a reflection of what my uncle was. Yalim Sajawa Bantu, Yalim Sajawa Kwano, Yalim Sajam Wagazi, Yalim Sajam Sanyufu, the list goes on. Fe. Ngamukaga March, in Seya Fea Sidika. Babatu Gamanti, Hagenzi. We, we felt like nothing to gain Zenaye. Wange Wafe, Uncle Mogane Abadi Mutumukuru Nyo, Uncle Mogane Abadi Nich for Chamani Nyo, a Chinchenizo Chigera Geranyako is. A nyumba, a nyumba beda no soria buna, uh, obusonda buna. Na ye, when you get it or while it to Sigaza obsat because Uncle Morgan, Yabada Quatia, a sonda, a cam Kale Mumitima Jaffe, two losses of Muntuaman in you, are irreplaceable. Uh, by the grace of God, to Jack Fuba. Of course, ne support here when we can not just fear about Uganda. And Jagalope was a mama wa fe, mchala wa fe, aunt wa fe, namwandu, aunt sise, banange simani, mosimuno, alilam kwa ngam chalo. Nze sila banga kwa mchala ya gala bawe. Mamma, <laughs> Marizanga Manti, Nga Pastor, we had to go to church. Bananga Tim Sulida, Mutchaking a pop, and not only to check King up of your much checking a common name. Wanga will only then fire out one the way Ali. Or Mutua Sobolo Bag and that Ponga Mulos are in the woods. Kumbari will be to Veno Pagala Mutima to Venetia. Uncle Wangi Wavali is still legacy. Legacy, we are for Agala. Nothing to call in the exam. We are in your complete. We are in the group of people who are in the group of people who are in the group of people who Popular <laughs> Community, I have a 
abade part of the way of the man. The family of Moga and Nai, the Quakiza, who want to lose in the glasses of the child of Apoga government to Balus in the moon too. But the truth is, yes, Moga, our name is Among our family, the child of seven nine, Quakiza. Morgan to me was a very, very young girl. The one to have to lag up with Gamba. But that's Tinobiangi Mogani, about them Kwano Gwango, Kumeremia Kagiona, about the Anko Waba Navangi Mogani, I know Kwano, Mogani, Yatukunganya, Namanya Mogani, Murkum Wenda, nineteen seventy four, Shuruba Kurubangi. Eroku Voro, Mogani Nanjagala, Mogani Abadam protecting Gabuli Mutaga Oku Okunku Atako, Yagata Mukata Kumani Nazi, Oktuka Ksaw and Sembayo, Mogani Abadam Mwagas Wabana, Mogani Yagas, Uncle Havana, Trina got to our classes over Uncle Wabana, the Mammy Power of Tawi. Mukumbi <laughs> Mbamuzika <laughs> Kusaba mwenye mumutele ye sara Bia genzo kukora bigwe burunji Moga ni mkama muumu ze mirembe Ewa biwa debi gambo biyangi Ya sanyo Amanya gange vampita alan Gaze Abeda Nemami Nemelisa Nemavin, we've been staying together with uh, the late. We are so grateful for every contribution and uh, everyone's presence today and uh, all the previous days through these hard times. Trayanzanyo, you never mutu kolera, never you never mba demu kola previously. Anko sinza mo gera ko rutambi nendo mala. Gawe Bagambi is a book of his own. Sisola Pogeda Nemala into the Mukwatako, but like I've said before, he's a serve his own. Hello, this is a message from Melissa. Yeah, this is a message from Melissa, Uncle's daughter, who happens to be my girlfriend. And uh, yeah, this is what she wrote for the light. Hi, Papa. To say I miss you is beyond an underestimate. I miss you to the call. Every day that passes by is like unbelievable. The fact that I can't see you beyond pictures and I can't hear you beyond videos and voice notes. I still remember when I was around six years. Old. I was in school and my teacher told us 
the students to create something extraordinary and special for someone. I immediately thought about you, Papa Morgan. So I went down to one of the rooms in the school and called, in one of the school, in the rooms in the school, called the woodwork room and created a beautiful brown dog because you knew how much I loved animals. I made a German shepherd and wrote the words, I love you, Papa, from your daughter, Melissa. Only God knows where to put the dog. Ha, ha, ha. When we lived in Bugalobi, we had a beautiful black cat, and he promised he or she would, wouldn't bite me. And of course, you were absolutely right. The cat was an absolute darling. One night, you and mom were attending an event, and mom, as usual, taking a long time to decide to cook me and Mark some spaghetti with meat and I was one of the most oh it was one of the most nicest meals I've ever tested. Imagine you in your high and expensive linen suit oh sorry 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 yeah, imagine you and your you in your expensive linen suit that's how amazing you are, and you'll always be an amazing dad. I'll never forget when you always said, Penga, Pa, Bege. <laughs> Which in Swedish means money is on its way. I, I say all that to say to you, a one, children, in fact, you and mom, you and mom are just that. We all miss you much. Mom is truly lost without you. Don't worry, I'll hold her down for part. Mommy thinks of you day and night. Me and Alan are still in shock. Syria misses you so much. Papa, I'll always hold your name and respect in high rivers. I'll always love and miss you, Papa. Rest in Santa Paradise. Love you, Paris. Thank you so much. Uh, Uncle Morgan. And I hope. He listens to it wherever he is. I know for a certain that we will never lose your love, dear uncle, even in death. For all, you will continue to participate in our acts, thoughts, and decisions you make. Your love lives undeniable input in our memories. We shall always find comfort in knowing that you are you are with us. I've been enjoying and having shared your love and jokes and happiness. As we, that had a great uncle, um, the price you have to share and the price you have to suffer is the tears and the grief. Meaning, we had a great uncle and the, the price you have to pay for that is the grief and the tears we have right now. Rest in peace, Uncle. I'm a hero for the angels. Thank you so much.
Stand up now. If there's anyone in this hall who has a single nasty thing to say about Morgan, we used to call him Mogello. Stand up now. In all my life, I've got a lady there. 
she has somebody, something bad to say about Morgan. Come here, ma madam. Come forward. Janice, if you've got anything bad to say about Lord Morgan, please tell us. I'll take his debt. I'm the bailiff. I will stand for him. And I'm the bailiff. I will stand for Lord Morgan's debt. Okay? Okay. It's about to three things. One. He enjoyed life too much. <laughs> Two, he was too kind, which was so much. <laughs> Three, he was always uniting people, even if you didn't like the other person. So that is negative. That's what I knew about him. <laughs> um, I'm not a Christian, but I'm a lawyer. And I think those are the reasons Jesus got crucified. Those three things. Jesus enjoyed his life. He was too kind. And he cared about people too much. So that's the same thing that Morgan is being accused of. Where's the cross? Huh? That's Morgan's sin. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Okay. Um, can, I, can I just ask you something? Um, many of you remember Morgan for what he did. I remember Morgan as an individual who lived in a group of people. So I'll tell you a story about Morgan. 1983-84 in Kamocha. So I'm driving with my friend Jack Shigonya who lived on Kira Road and we go down and we meet Morgan around Kamocha Market. He says, guys, give me a lift. So we drop him home. We get home. Morgan's mother, Bob, I hope you're listening to this. Morgan's mother is wearing Morgan's jacket. Remember, Morgan used to have a sleeveless jacket. Do you remember anyone? Put up your hands if you remember. Morgan used to have a sleeveless jacket in the early 80s. So his mother was wearing the jacket and he asked in Luganda, now I can't say that because I don't speak Luganda, but he asked his mother, he said, Mama, why are you wearing my jacket? You know what his mother told him? She said, Tulina Plan Lero. So Morgan said, Plan she. She said, Triple C. So Morgan said, Triple C? What's Triple C? He said, Cementy, Shares, Clouds. Morgan told his mother, he said, you're not coming with us, you stay home. That was the first time I went to their house in Kamocha, and the last time as well, I haven't been back there. Now, there's so many hilarious stories I can tell you about Morgan. I've got a list of at least six. Do you have time for it? <laughs> have you got time for six anecdotes about Morgan's life? What's up? Right, okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you maybe two or three. So, we're in Kisamenti having a drink in the evening. 1984-85, during Obote's time, Morgan walks in with Kauma in uh, Kauma's Honda Prelude, it was a two-seater. Morgan's carrying the briefcase. Kauma walks in. Morgan comes into Jeffco and is carrying the briefcase like this. <laughs> So 
So everyone in Jeffco knew money had arrived. Morgan had the briefcase. Money had arrived. So somebody stupidly, and I say stupidly, yeah, in inverted commas, blurted out, said, Captain Morgan. So here's Morgan walking in, and somebody calls, says, Captain Morgan. He says, you want to kill me? This is Obote, Obote II, 1985. He says, do you want to kill me? You're calling me a captain. What about if the soldiers around here hear you calling me a captain? I could be in Lubiri by the morning. That was the first, and everybody just, like we, you know what a Captain Morgan is? Captain Morgan is a rum. It's a bottle of rum. But somebody called him captain and he got rumbled. I didn't see Morgan for about five years, 1985, 86, 7. I am in Stockholm, in Sweden. I'm in Sweden, in Stockholm, in 1990. And I go down to the flea market in Sherholman. And I see somebody wearing a gray shirt that was a bit glittery. Now, if you know Morgan, you know he used to have a gray shirt that was a bit, a bit glittery, long-sleeved, and he added in Kampala, he was still wearing it in Stockholm. So, I recognized the shirt and the shoulder, and so I went behind him in the market, and I tapped him on his shoulder. He turned around and he goes, never do that again, my brother. You know, here, we don't know anybody. Now, if they tap you on your shoulder, you think it's the police. That was Morgan. I didn't see him again until 2009, 2010, 11. Morgan is uh, in Equatoria. So we go to Viper Room for a, a, a party. Morgan is there. And Morgan has a lot of money. He's come from Kigali and he's loaded. Yeah? Morgan is loaded. As with Karim, where is uh, Sherina? Sherina? Where is Sherina? Sherina Heji, as with uh, Rahim. So, Morgan tells us, he says, look, Viper Room is dead. Let's go to speak Rock Garden and spend a bit of time there and enjoy our life. But he, he told us, he said, before you get in your car, leave your wallets behind because everything is on me. So, we're like, how are we going to spend money when we get... He said, no. I am buying everything and anything you want. And I kid you not, Morgan had about $20,000 in his pocket. He said, this is the funny bit, he said, when I get to Rock Gardens, I'm going to tell the Ascaris there to check you if you're carrying your wallet. If they catch you with your wallet, you're going to CPS. So we go to Rock Garden, Morgan gives us a good time, then he says, ah, let's go to Kisamenti. Now, how many of you have been in a car with Morgan driving? Put up your hands. How many have been, so you know how, your father, right? You know how he drives, five miles an hour, yeah? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Thank you. So I leave to go to Kisementi 
Morgan is supposed to be following me. I get to Kisamenti, I come back to the golf club, Morgan is just coming down the hill. I turn around, I overtake him, we go up Acacia, I get to Kisamenti, I park, I go into just kicking, I wait for him for 10 minutes, he arrives. I said, what took you so long? He said, bana bana. Listen, the tortoise always wins the race. Morgan never used to drive in town more than 10 miles an hour. That was him. That was his driving skill. Top bottom of it. And you know what? The last time I saw the guy was 2019 in Sisi in Kampala. I think you guys were there at 400 Christmas. That was the last time I saw him. Then COVID happened and I didn't see him again. But you know, if you can write a book on a person, that is the life of Lord Morgan. I, I will write an autobiography one day and I will have a whole section dedicated with chapters and paragraphs to Lord Morgan. Because he was amazing. And just to cap it all, to cap it all, I cannot remember. Look, Paul Mutawi is my older brother. Dodi Sarakera is my brother. Yeah? Paul Bima is like my son. We hang out, we have disagreements, we have issues, we have so many things. I have never ever had anybody complain about Morgan having done anything to anybody. And I'm not saying this because he's a dead man. I'm just saying it because it is a fact. The man was amazing. Every time he walked into a room, he lit the place up. And if there was trouble, he cooled it down. That was the nature of Morgan. So I'm so pleased I met him. When I dressed up tonight, today, to come here, my wife asked me, why are you dressing up in those fanciful colors? My wife is Hindu. They dress up in white. Most of you are dressed up in black. When you go for a funeral, you go to mourn, so you do somber or sober colors. My wife told me, why are you dressing up in a color? I said, because that was Morgan. That's all he did. He lit up everybody's life. And I'm going to represent him. Thank you very much. Um,